Hey, hey everybody, welcome. Today we're going to take you through a little bit of what our day was like. We uh, had to photograph a, an Irish festival. It's the first time I've ever done one of those kind of things. Uh, but uh, we're going to give you from the start of the day to what happens at the end of the day and let you see some of our progress. And it's, today it's, it's quite unusual. So um, please hold tight and uh, stay at the end of the video. And uh, you might be really surprised at what the last step of what our, we have to do uh, in this situation uh, actually is. Hang on. Hi everybody, my name is Robert Maxfield and I'm a concert photographer based in Dallas, Texas. I've been photographing concerts and live music since uh, 1977 and uh, some of the bands I've photographed are Queen Heart, Bad Company, Ted Nugent, Chuck Berry, um, John Denver, Adam Ant. Uh, I photographed a whole lot of bands. So anyway, what we're here doing is we're going to hopefully give you a little bit of help and insight in what uh, photographing music is like. And uh, hopefully if you have any questions, comments, concerns, confusions, go ahead and uh, put them in the comments. And uh, stay at the end of this video because there's going to be some uh, something a little bit different in it. Usually when we start any kind of project as far as festival or show or anything like that, we start the night before, we get all our paperwork together, we get um, the, um, all the camera gear, all the stuff together, our chairs, our everything we need, and we put it all in the entranceway. And um, in the morning we get everything loaded up, we put it in the car, and uh, from there we go to a place called Shorty's. And uh, Shorty's is probably our favorite diner on the planet. And uh, what we do is it's real nice because we're able to sit down, have a good breakfast, start out the day, uh, check any notes or plans that we have to do. So we're going to start this uh, video at Shorty's and uh, what we did first thing in the morning. Good morning. We're getting ready to go shoot St. Patrick's Day, Texas style in Louisville, Texas. And then we're starting our morning out with breakfast. Getting ready to go. So. Here. That's Robert behind the camera. Yeah, that's me behind the camera. That's Julie right there. With a headache. With a headache. She's not feeling real well. Anyway, breakfast is here. The weather is really kind of nasty outside. They're saying it's going to rain today, but I'm not really quite for sure. I would put odds on it. It really is going to. You can see the outside. But we're going to have some breakfast, pick up some stuff, and we'll be on our way. We're kind of stuck between two stages right now. This one is on the south side, and the other one is a crossover next to the, to the main building. And uh, the shows are every 15 minutes apart. None of them go at the same time. So we'll have enough time, and there's not too far to walk. And Julie's going to actually stay right there. And she's setting up all her, um, her paraphernalia, all the note taking and all that stuff so um, I'm getting ready to see what's going on here it's kind of a dark gloomy day but we're gonna go underway anyway 
So let's go do this. This is the second stage. So it's not too far. It's probably about less than 100 yards apart between the two. And it looks like they're setting up. They've got some different uh, exhibits and shops and things like that going on. Here comes the rain. Not good. These golden senses. Going to get a little nasty. Light rain, it had some pretty good sized drops, and they're telling us it's going to be uh, a little tail of a thunderstorm coming in here about noon. So we should know um, they're threatening if it happens twice, they're going to pull the plug on it and not go. So it's a shame because I know some of the bands, I know one of the bands came from all the way from Houston, and uh, we're hoping to get to see them. They should be a lot of fun. But uh, this is what we do. All right, as you can see here, this is what the radar looks like. Welcome to Texas. This is spring, and uh, outdoor festivals sometimes can be hit or miss, and unfortunately, this one was a miss. But um, does that mean the job's over with? What we have to do as concert photographers? No, not in the slightest. Um, I feel for the performers. I feel for the vendors. I feel for the city, and uh, but... At the time, it was lightning and raining real hard, and uh, about 15 minutes after the last clip, uh, they came across the loudspeakers and said that they would canceled the show, and they said, uh, we'll see you all next year. Really, that doesn't any do much good, but uh, I'd like to give a shout out to, um, to, to the bands that gave us the okay to photograph them during... Uh, during this festival uh first one is skyland and uh thank you uh we'll look forward to next year hopefully you'll be there next year hopefully we'll be there next year and uh, thanks for responding to us um the next one is beyond the pale and uh, thanks to beyond the pale for uh replying to us thank you and uh, we're very sorry but uh, hopefully we'll get to do it again uh, that's a bummer, and I did get to see Raina Wallace walk around the place, and uh, she wrote me a nice letter saying, you know, she was only going to be able to play for 45 minutes anyway, and didn't know if it would be worth it um, to uh, photograph her show. Trust me, Raina, it's worth it, and um, I feel sorry that you didn't get to play. I would have loved to see you perform, so uh, thanks, Raina Wallace, and uh, to 40 Acre Mule, hey... It's a bummer, man. What can I tell you? But, um, you know, this kind of stuff happens. I was prepared. We we're ready to go. Julie was prepared. Most of the bands were, were look. I think, there that were there were looking forward to it. And what can I tell you, man? Things happen. So um, it's just the way it is. I'd like to thank everybody for viewing our, our channel. Um, 
please like and subscribe if you already haven't. If, keep up to date with us. Uh, the channel's growing. We're glad to see people with interest. If there's anything we can do for you to help you on your journey as becoming um, concert photographers, please let us know. Put it in the comments, and uh, we'd love to hear from you. But uh, I'll tell you what, this today was a bummer, but I've got some stuff I'm going to post also from uh, last Sunday that'll make up for it. And uh, if you've stayed along with this uh, with this video long enough, you're going to get that. So trust me, there's some some blues greats that'll just blow your mind from this last week. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. Woo, man, I almost forgot. Um, I want to say special thanks to uh, Patrick Devlin and the Blackguards. Sorry we didn't get to uh, uh, get to see you play. And um, I hope you I hope you didn't make it all the way up from Houston and for nothing. But uh, we'll catch you next time. And thank you for your correspondence. Uh, we want to keep in touch. So thanks a lot. Bye bye.